told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Today, I want to talk about one of the most critical but often misunderstood aspects of a toxic relationship, the discard phase. The discard phase is the heartbreaking stage in a narcissistic relationship where the narcissist decides to end the connection. But unlike a typical breakup, this phase is characterized by cruelty, manipulation, and a complete lack of empathy. During this phase, the victim may experience elevated levels of gaslighting, emotional, verbal, or physical abuse, withdrawal of affection, blame shifting and projection, and an abrupt disconnect from the relationship. Let's delve deeper into the various aspects of narcissistic discard and provide some concrete examples to illustrate these points. Narcissists often exhibit a range of manipulative behaviors before discarding their victims. This can include gaslighting, where they subtly distort reality to make their victim doubt their own perceptions. For example, a narcissist might constantly criticize their partner's memory, insisting that events didn't happen as the victim remembers. As the discard phase approaches, the narcissist may escalate emotional abuse and devaluation of their victim. They might belittle their partner's achievements, undermine their self-esteem, or withhold affection and attention. For instance, a narcissistic partner might dismiss their significant other's accomplishments as insignificant or unworthy of praise, leaving them feeling unappreciated and worthless. One hallmark of the discard phase is the sudden withdrawal of affection and intimacy. The narcissist may go from being overly affectionate to cold and distant almost overnight. For instance, a narcissistic partner who was once loving and attentive might suddenly become aloof, avoiding physical contact and showing little interest in spending time together. When confronted about their behavior or the deteriorating relationship, narcissists often resort to blame shifting and projection. They deflect responsibility for their actions onto their victim and accuse them of being the problem. For example, a narcissist might blame their partner for the relationship's problems, claiming that their lack of understanding or support is the reason for their unhappiness. As the discard phase unfolds, narcissists may become more provocative and hostile towards their victim. They may pick fights over trivial matters, instigate arguments, or intentionally push their partner's buttons to elicit an emotional reaction. For instance, a narcissistic partner might deliberately provoke jealousy by flirting with others or accusing their partner of being overly possessive. The discard phase culminates in the narcissist's final disengagement from the relationship. This may happen abruptly, with the narcissist walking away without explanation or closure, or it may be a more gradual process, with the narcissist slowly withdrawing their emotional investment. Regardless of the method, the end result is the same, the victim is left feeling abandoned, confused, and devastated. So, why do narcissists discard their victims? Narcissists thrive on control and power. Once they feel they've gained control or exhausted their victim's usefulness, they may discard them to assert dominance or seek new sources of admiration. Here are three common reasons narcissists discard their supply. The first is when a victim no longer fulfills this role or challenges the narcissist's sense of superiority, they are discarded in search of a new source of supply. For example, if a partner stops idolizing the narcissist or starts asserting their independence, the narcissist may view them as no longer valuable and seek someone else who can fulfill their need for admiration. Another reason the narcissists initiate a discard is due to their fear of abandonment or rejection. Despite their outward confidence, narcissists often have fragile egos and deep-seated insecurities. The prospect of being rejected or abandoned triggers intense feelings of shame and inadequacy for them. To protect themselves from this perceived threat, narcissists may preemptively discard their victims before they can be rejected first. For instance, if a partner begins to voice dissatisfaction with the relationship or express a desire to leave, the narcissist may discard them first to avoid feeling rejected. Narcissists have an insatiable need for control and power over others. They view relationships as a means to exert dominance and manipulate their partners to meet their own needs. When a victim starts to assert their independence, challenge the narcissist's authority, or threaten their control, the narcissist may discard them to regain power and maintain their sense of superiority. 
For example, if a partner begins to set boundaries or confront the narcissist about their abusive behavior, the narcissist may discard them to assert their dominance and control over the situation. These reasons highlight the narcissist's selfish motives and lack of empathy for their victims. Ultimately, the discard phase reflects the narcissist's underlying psychological issues and dysfunctional coping mechanisms rather than any fault of the victim. If you're enjoying this video and want to hear from me again, give the video a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and the bell to turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload again. The timing of the discard phase varies, but it often occurs when the victim begins to assert their independence or question the narcissist's behavior. It's a strategic move to maintain their sense of superiority and avoid accountability. These are several instances in which they might discard their targets. Imagine a scenario where a narcissistic individual is in a romantic relationship with someone who initially idolizes and admires them. However, over time, the partner begins to assert their own needs, opinions, and independence, which diminishes the amount of admiration and attention they give to the narcissist. This loss of constant validation and admiration threatens the narcissist's fragile ego, triggering feelings of insecurity and inadequacy. In response, the narcissist may choose to discard their partner to seek out someone new who can provide the adoration and attention they crave. In a situation where a narcissistic boss or authority figure is accustomed to having complete control over their employees or subordinates, any perceived slight or challenge can lead to a discard. For instance, if an employee questions the narcissist's decisions, offers alternative suggestions, or refuses to comply with unreasonable demands, this can cause them to feel threatened and insecure. In retaliation, the narcissist may choose to discard the employee by firing them or ostracizing them from the group to maintain their dominance and control. Picture a scenario where a narcissistic individual is engaged in a friendship or familial relationship where they routinely manipulate and exploit others for their own gain. However, one day, a family member or friend starts to recognize the narcissist's manipulative tactics and confronts them about their behavior, refusing to be manipulated any longer. This exposure of the narcissist's true nature threatens their facade of perfection, causing them to feel vulnerable and exposed. In response, the narcissist may choose to discard the individual by cutting off contact or spreading rumors to discredit them, protecting their image, and preserving their sense of superiority. The discard phase is marked by a gradual or sudden withdrawal of affection, intimacy, and support. The narcissist may begin to criticize, devalue, or even provoke their victim, creating an extremely toxic atmosphere. Let's discuss some of the techniques they might use in the final stretch of the discard phase. The first and most popular technique is ghosting. Ghosting is when someone suddenly stops communicating with another person without explanation. Narcissists commonly use ghosting to discard their victims by cutting them off without warning. They might even disappear without a trace, leaving their partner confused, hurt, and wondering what went wrong. By cutting off contact abruptly, the narcissist avoids confrontation and accountability, leaving their victim feeling abandoned and rejected. A narcissistic partner might engage in financial exploitation and sabotage as a means of discarding their victim. For example, the narcissist may secretly drain joint bank accounts, max out credit cards, or take out loans in the victim's name without their knowledge or consent. They may also sabotage the victim's career or financial stability by spreading false rumors, sabotaging job opportunities, or coercing them to quit their job. As a result, the victim is left financially devastated and dependent on the narcissist, which creates the perfect formula for abandonment. In a scenario of parental alienation, a narcissistic parent might discard their child's other parent through parental alienation and custody battles. For instance, the narcissistic parent may engage in a campaign of manipulation and psychological abuse to turn the child against the other parent, portraying them as unfit, abusive, or unworthy of love and respect. They may also use the legal system to wage prolonged and contentious custody battles, draining the victim's financial resources and emotional energy. As a result, the victim is left heartbroken, alienated from their child, and struggling to navigate the complexities of co-parenting with a manipulative and vindictive ex-partner.
In each of these examples, the narcissist's actions are intended to inflict maximum harm and control over their target, demonstrating their lack of empathy, remorse, and accountability. Victims of narcissistic discard often struggle to rebuild their lives and recover from the trauma inflicted upon them, but with support and resources, they can overcome the devastating effects of narcissistic abuse. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away